Hey everyone, welcome back to breakfast. This is our gluten-free, allergy-friendly breakfast series and today I will be making buckwheat crepes and they are delicious. Simple to make with only five ingredients and you can throw just about anything into these and they will taste awesome. Today we will be wrapping them up with smoked salmon lox and a fresh homemade tartar sauce. The beauty of this recipe is the simplicity of the ingredients. Only five ingredients. We've got oil, eggs, a bit of salt, water, and buckwheat flour. Now this buckwheat flour is the secret ingredient. It is a light buckwheat flour. There's two kinds of buckwheat flour. There's the dark kind and the light kind. And I want you to come over here and check this out. This is the light kind. It doesn't have as much of the grit, which is the husk of the uh, buckwheat kernel. So this is a much nicer version of the buckwheat flour uh, because it's less dense. So it makes just really beautiful crepes. Now if you can't find the light buckwheat flour, go ahead and use the dark stuff. It, it'll still taste awesome. Um, it's just a bit fancier when you use the lighter brand. So I'm gonna start with three eggs. Next is a shot of oil, about a tablespoon. Just, there you go, that's good enough. And then a little pinch of salt. About a half a teaspoon should do the trick. And then we're gonna be adding a cup of water, 125 uh, milliliters. Ish. No, what is this? Yeah, 236 milliliters of water. Now, a lot, most crepe recipes call for dairy products. They call for milk. So if you want to use a milk substitute, you can. Water works perfectly fine. So we're just gonna go for the water. Next, we need the buckwheat flour. And it's only just a rounded half cup of the flour and about 100 grams of the buckwheat. Throw it in, whisk it up until it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going to transfer my batter to a jar for easier pouring, but also because the batter can sit in your fridge. Just date it and it'll be good for at least five days. And then you've got your crepe batter sitting there ready for you to make in the morning. And don't forget that crepes are so versatile. What, you don't have to just eat them for breakfast. You can eat it for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. Take a crepe, make a wrap with it. Bring wraps back. Gluten-free wraps are kind of non-existent, so a nice soft crepe works really, really well for lunch. So let's transfer. I'm gonna let my batter sit for a couple of minutes and while it's sitting, to let it to thicken up a little bit, I will make my tartar sauce to go with my salmon lox. So we'll start with a good blob of mayonnaise. And to the mayonnaise, I will be adding some green relish. This is actually homemade. A friend made this for us. So I'll be adding about a tablespoon of green relish. Now we're ready to cook our crepes. We have a hot pan over medium heat. Throw in a little dash of oil and get that spread around. And then you pour in your batter and then twist the pan so that the batter spreads out around the length, around the width of the pan. Doesn't matter if your crepe is not perfectly round, it's gonna be delicious no matter what. It's best to use a nonstick pan when you're cooking crepes, but if you're gonna use a pan like the one that I'm using, remember that a hot pan and cold oil means a no stick. You wanna cook the crepes until the edges start to curl up and then you can flip them over quite easily. I wanted to show you that I left this crepe on the pan for a little bit too long and it went so crispy, just like a papadom. As you cook your crepes, pile them on a plate and cover them with a nice tea towel. And you'll have a lovely pile of crepes to work with. So let's get this one plated up. I'll take my crepe and add a little bit of the tartar sauce across the side, one corner, and then grab my beautiful smoked salmon lox and just lay that in there like so. And then we fold it up. Look at how beautiful that is. 
It's good. It's a nice little tang from the uh, the tartar sauce. And these crepes, they're so soft. They're so lovely. You could just wrap anything with them. And the nice thing with these is that they don't go hard. Sometimes when you bake with brown rice flour or white rice flour, it goes hard later, but the buckwheat stays soft. So you can make these and they will be soft tomorrow and they will be soft the next day. So really really great option really will open up doors for you for breakfast and for lunch and for dinner so i hope you enjoy thanks bye